Okay. The story of Martha is dead, and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. Well then. They, when they start the game <laughs> with a crisis line. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. <clears throat> I tried this game earlier. Nanny? And it crashed on me, so... Will you tell me the story of the white lady? Hopefully it doesn't do it. No, again. little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because Aww. I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Annie. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Mm. 
She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire that death, not love, was awaiting her. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. Huh. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. This is very, uh, very realistic graphics we got going on here. Reel off the film. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. A new film in. <clears throat> I want a camera like this. I wouldn't be able to figure out how to use it though. Even though there's directions, I would still screw it up. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. That's so cute. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Oh boy. What? Is that a person? I must help them. Sound like the wind lady. I was horrified at the 
idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. to stay calm. Martha is not dead. It's not possible. It's not true. There's no need to worry. Everything, is fine. Everything will be fine. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Isn't that the day that the game came out? I'll look that up. Is everything okay? February 24th, okay. I was close. That's kind of... What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? Uh. She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. Why would you just assume which so twin it is? I nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Body one day after Martha's death at 10 30 p.m. O oh Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O oh Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. <coughs> the candles in the hall. People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. A telegraph box. I know how to use it. Daddy taught me. There's no reason to use the phone right now. July 17th, 1944. 
Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. Hmm. Hello. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. Um, I'll put it back to where it was. Actually. I saw. No, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. I saw it too, lady, so it's not just you. Sir, wake up. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Yes, because candles solve everybody's problems. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Daddy, Mummy, and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that Father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. <laughs> Can I run? Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. This game is really pretty. Can you come and get the flowers, please? We'll send Martha if you like. Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't sit still for a second. Don't worry, I'll come get the flowers. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, that's right. I can't talk to her. I am everything always I'm has to be perfect. With deaf her. and mute, so I cannot speak. Oh. What the heck is that? Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. My beard is blonde, is that what that just said? Who closed the door? I love how there's just <laughs> a random light shining on it. <laughs> Hello, let me in, please. Eric, Eric, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here, of all places? What? <coughs> hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. 
Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? At least Dad's Her on my fault side. for Marta being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irene. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. Wow. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? That's not nice. But dad's on my side, so that's okay. I don't like the mother. She's mean. They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my <laughs> fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. Poor dad. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. <laughs> oh, okay. Martha. Her life? Okay. Martha. Yay! 
Alright, my ears. They don't like this. And her eyes are open. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. Why is it yellow though? Oh, you're still there. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I feel disturbed. And very confused. Because she looks like her anyway, so why would she need her face? Unless that was like a metaphor. I think that was just a metaphor. I don't think that was actually her taking her face. That was, that was definitely a metaphor. I'm hoping that was... That was the metaphor. <sighs> it was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just... I love how she just scooted bed. her legs Instead, out of the bed. That her was bed is empty and it this was like is boop, boop, boop. Okay. Picture. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I, I saw capture it happen. Martha's soul? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna save. It auto saved anyway. Oh well. Okay. So um yeah. That that is the first part of Martha is dead. Kinda terrified. Nightmares, you know. But it's okay. I just don't understand why she put the face of her twin sister on. I swear that was a metaphor, but like the way that they made it seem was that she actually did it. Which makes sense, because, you know video game logic and all that but um I'm probably gonna be recording the second part um probably probably today but yeah I will I will see you guys next time bye